Now, for those of you who are considering laser engraving, the biggest mistake that many new laser engravers make is not having a safety enclosure like this one here that you see with the Laser Pecker 5. And I have to say, in my opinion, that this is a must have accessory to allow you not only to use it safely in your home, but if you're planning on going on site, some form of pop up, and you'd like to be able to laser engrave on site, this is the must have accessory. So, in today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Laser Pecker 5 safety enclosure all of its features, and I'm gonna to introduce to you a jig system that is gonna make laser engraving fast, easy, and professional looking. That's gonna step up your laser engraving business, and it's gonna allow you to pay off your investment and even grow your business like never before. Let's get right to it. Now, we've been testing out the Laser Pecker Safety Enclosure for some time now, and we've been thoroughly surprised with how well it worked, but we've also identified that there's some limitations, and that's why we've actually created a laser engraving jig system that helps us get the maximum uh, output out of this uh, solution. And you can see that right here. So if you're looking, to example, to engrave uh, bottle openers like this, we have a jig for that. If you'd like to be able to engrave, let's say, bottle openers, which are also a popular item, or a bottle stopper like you see here, this is another jig. If you're looking to engrave, let's say, for example, uh, cork coasters, we have a jig for that too. If you're looking to engrave, let's say uh, these uh, are metal clips for hats, very popular. There's a jig for it as well. We have a jig for slates. We have over 240 jigs that are gonna change the way you use your Laser Pecker 5 with this enclosure. And the benefit of having this enclosure is not just the fact that it's enclosed and it's uh, eye safe, but it also is going to allow you to control where the fumes and the smoke get expelled because you can use the Laser Pecker uh, air purifier in combination with this case to uh, capture all of the smells, all of the smoke, anything that you're engraving will get removed from the system safely and will go into that system. So this is gonna be great for those of you who wanna use this, let's say, uh, on site if you're going to do jewelry or if you're gonna do any of the items that you saw here. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna open this up for a second so that we can see some of the things that are going on in here. And you'll see that I also have a jig inside. Now the Laser Pecker Safety Enclosure does expand how you use the Laser Pecker 5. And as I mentioned, I feel that this is a must have accessory because of all of the benefits that you get from it. First of all, you do get a camera and that camera allows you to see and place uh, the engravings, align them on the objects that you want to engrave, which makes it very easy. The other thing, and I would say is probably the number one thing about this is that the actual glass that you see here or the, the shielding that you see here means that you don't have to wear any kind of glasses when you're using this. So if you do take this on site, and let's say you're using this um, in a pop-up scenario uh, where you're selling laser goods, you don't have to worry about anyone getting exposed to any of the laser beams because that's gonna be protected. You can see also that you have a lighting solution inside. So as I open this up, you can see how bright this is. So you can see everything that's going on internally. Now, one of the things that um, I was a little disappointed in is that you have very large platform, but you don't really have a large engraving area. Matter of fact, uh, Laser Pecker recommends that you try to stay in the center of the laser, of, of the actual beam or the actual lens where it's positioned to get the best engraving um, experience. And that kind of limits, limits what you have over here. So you can't really engrave anything over here or over there. So you're still looking at very similar to the same area. In order to overcome that limitation and to be able to place objects quickly, that's why we've um, invented this laser pecker jig system that allows us to place products to engrave very fast. So for example, if I wanna engrave these bottle openers that we just talked about, all I have to do is grab it, slide it in, and I can go into the laser pecker software and engrave. If I'd like to switch from the actual bottle openers to the corks, all I have to do is put it just like that, and then I'm ready to go. It's been placed and locked in right underneath the lens, so I'm gonna get the maximum benefit of that, and you can see that I can switch very quickly, and just using the Laser Pecker software, it makes it really easy for me to engrave and place things on it, especially also with the camera. So a lot of benefit and a lot of flexibility when it comes to being able to engrave. I will include the link to this system um, in the comment area below for those of you who are interested in picking this up. Now, one of the things that you can do also with this, um, you'll notice that you have lights on here and here. Well, one is an indicator that the actual 
laser backer five is connected to the network. And the other one is, is that the actual enclosure itself is connected to the network. Both have to be connected to the network and you'll have to set them up separately. It makes me feel like the enclosure and the laser pecker are not one device when you have to create these two separate connections. I would have liked to have the enclosure and the laser pecker five more integrated where as soon as you plug it into the laser pecker five, you didn't have to do anything extra with this, but the enclosure has to be connected and laser pecker does have some steps that you'll go through. You then also have the ability to raise and lower the platform. And when you have this connected, you will have your two dots that allow you to focus or what you can do is put in the material uh, thickness and then that will allow you to focus as well. What I typically do is I use the two dots. I prefer to use that versus material thickness because it's a lot faster. And let's face it, if I'm using you know, a jig, the material thickness is gonna be different. So I like doing that. Now, what you'll notice is on the back side, you do have another opening in the back where you can reach into the back and do things. I don't know why I would do this. Um, maybe if, uh, I haven't tried using the rotary here, but I think that using the rotary would be a little bit challenging in this, in this scenario. I'll have to see, uh, but don't really find much function for having the, the back door the way that is. Now, in addition to being able to raise and lower the platform and actually uh, view what's going on with the actual case, you do have an emergency stop here on the side. Uh, one of the things that the system does not have is it does not have an on and off button. But what I've been doing is I've been using the emergency stop as my on and off. So as I have this plugged in, all I do is, you know, turn it on by just flipping uh, this emergency stop and that goes into my on position. I've been doing this for now several months this way and I find that there's been no harm, nothing has changed in, in the platform by doing that because again, it lacks an on and off system. So this makes uh, things um, quite easier for me as well. Now, the actual laser pecker five, when you connect it to the, uh, to the actual enclosure, um, is connected with two screws and you're gonna find instructions on that. You tighten it up. But the one thing to note that even though you have a handle, you cannot raise the laser pecker five and the safety enclosure as one unit by pulling up on the handle. You'll actually break it because the screws that you have here don't really uh, lock in all parts of the uh, laser pecker five. So all it's doing is holding the front, but the back will tilt forward and then that can damage the case. And that probably is gonna be able to damage your laser pecker five. So if you're gonna pick this up and move it, you'll wanna grab it like if it was a barrel, right? Bring the whole thing and move it around in that way. So let's go ahead and take a closer look on the side. We'll zoom in right here. And you know, literally I like doing this in my kitchen because the enclosure really makes it really easy for you to use this anywhere. And that's what we're talking about here. So I can, uh, without worry, engrave, as long as I have my smoke uh, eater or smoke purifier connected, I'm gonna be okay. You'll notice here's the stop button. You do have uh, some plugs right here that this is gonna allow you to connect the laser pecker uh, fire safety solution. Uh, that is gonna be a solution that will work with this once it's available. You can see on the bottom here, you have your power uh, that basically is a standard adapter that you have with your laser pecker. Instead of connecting it directly to the laser pecker, you'll be connecting it here, and then that will power the whole system. In the back, you'll see your familiar array of cables. You have a couple cables that are connected to the actual, again, uh, enclosure or safety enclosure. So this one is your power. So power comes in on the side, it comes in through here, and then it comes to the top. You have your two USB, and then you have the one USB that you have on the top, which is gonna be, again, that security dongle. In the back, you have this pass-through, right? And maybe, I guess, one of the benefits of having this pass-through, now that I think about it, is if I have a longer object that I'd wanna be able to have a portion of the object coming out, let's say, for example, uh, I think this would probably fit a skateboard. If I wanted to put a skateboard top and then just have a portion of it in and a portion of it out, that would work, I guess. That's something that I could go ahead and test out later. On the side here, you do have uh, the ability to connect your smoke eater, connecting it to here, and it uses the laser pecker standard adapter. So it's gonna connect to this and it's gonna lock in easily. So literally, that's all there is to it. So what I'll do now is I'll show you how the software interacts with it. And you'll start seeing some of the things that I'm talking about when it comes to laser engraving area. You don't really get a larger laser engraving area, but you do get that peace of mind in having the enclosure that's bringing the camera function, which I love. And in my experience, it's been really accurate when it comes to the placement of the engraving and the item. And then the other thing I love is that I don't have to worry about the safety glasses and that I can control the smoke a lot easier. With the other solution, it was a little bit more difficult because you know, even though you had the cover, I felt that there was more leakage. I don't find that there's much leakage with this at all. Now, let me show you how the 
jig adapter with the enclosure would work together if you have an enclosure like I have. So the first thing you're going to do is the actual file itself has this frame which represents the actual jig adapter sliding space. Right? So I just put this around my coaster jig that I have right here and that's aligned nicely. Then I'm going to grab the SVG that represents the actual coaster itself and I'm going to bring this into place. When I bring this into place, you're going to notice that I'm going to get two crosshairs. You see that crosshair right there? That's basically telling me that that's right now in the center, which all of the jigs are set this way. And you notice that the image of the coaster is also there because of the enclosure. Now that I know that those two are aligned nicely, I'm going to go ahead over here and I'm going to turn off the rectangle because I don't need that. I'm going to leave the circle there because I now want to take the image that I want to have in there or the graphic and have that aligned. So notice as soon as I move that into place, you see how that crosshair comes in? Now that crosshair tells me that I am in the center of that circle. I'm going to go ahead and turn off that eclipse. Don't need to see that anymore. But what I am going to do is I'm going to do a preview now. And the preview, I'm going to see where this aligns. Now, I want to make sure that even though my camera here is showing me where it should be, I want to check and see with the actual coaster if it's in place. And you can see right here how that is in place right there as well. So everything is aligning really nicely. And you may ask yourself like, wow, that, those are a lot of steps that you go through. But we go through that just to make sure that things are aligned well. So I'm just double checking everything because, you know, what's going to happen next? If I need to do 10 coasters that all of them that say bless with boys, all I got to do is just swap them out and hit print, hit print, hit print, or in this case, engrave, 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 because it's just going to engrave. All right, so now that we have everything uh, set up, we're going to go ahead and try the laser engraving. So we're going to go ahead and hit laser engrave. Because now we know everything else looks like it's aligned. And we're going to hit confirm. Watch how fast this is going to go. And there it goes. Super duper fast. Right, exactly where we wanted it. That looks great. So I highly recommend the Laser Pecker 5 enclosure. And if you have a Laser Pecker 2, 3, 4, and you want to be able to have repeatable engravings, professional looking products that are fast and easy to engrave, make sure you check out our jig system. See you in the next video.